Dr. Gregory Horton here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please remember to subscribe. And also, if you like the video, please be generous and share. Now, tonight it is truly unfortunate that I have to report a story like this. But this story was first aired in the Washington Post on December 14. And the title, Major International Drug Fraud Conspiracy by Two Jamaican Coaches. Now, it is said according to the Washington Post that these two Jamaican coaches were elite athletes for Jamaica, which means that they represented Jamaica in several international championships. It is also reported that these two coaches provided illegal drugs to athletes who were to compete in the 2020 Olympics. So these two Jamaican coaches were once elite athletes representing Jamaica. It is alleged that they conspired to obtain illegal substances from the co-conspirator and the co-conspirator he is in a whole lot of trouble as well now it is said that these two coaches provided these illegal drugs to athletes who were competing in the 2020 olympic games uh, three of these athletes were already found guilty it is also alleged that the evidence that they have on these two coaches are overwhelming now one of my main concern is that with evidences that are overwhelming that it will implicate a whole lot of other people in the scheme. I am sure you will find that other coaches might be implicated and other athletes will also be implicated because it is alleged that the information that they have on these two coaches are overwhelming. Now, it is said that with some of the illegal substances that they were swingling to athletes and coaches are anabolic agent. We don't know exactly what, but we know that they were testosterone. We know that they were EPO. And we also know, according to the allegations, that they were HGH, which is human growth hormone. Now, it said that the scheme, and when you hear the term scheme, mean that it's a, it's a broad band of actions as i said that may implicate a whole lot of other people um it is said that the olympic level athletes they were from nigeria the united kingdom they were also from switzerland it is also said that some of the other athletes possibly are from the islands it is said that other charges these coaches will be faced with and that it will not stop here now i can tell you it is truly unfortunate because a situation like this will definitely affect the reputation of the coaches in jamaica it will affect the reputation of the country on a whole and it will also affect the reputation of the athletes now it is important to note that athletes who are trying to achieve their full potential should stay away from these types of negative publicity because it don't do you any good and it is my hope that this situation will end right here but as i said before according to the allegations that a whole lot more people will be implicated in this conspiracy and international drug fraud or i should say in this major international drug fraud conspiracy. It is truly unfortunate that I have to report this to you, but ah, these things do happen. I thank you all for listening. If you like the content, please go ahead and subscribe. If you think the content is worthy to be shared, please be generous and share. And also, if this is your first time coming over to this channel, please subscribe because we will be putting out some videos that can make a difference in the lives of athletes, coaches and also you my audience thank you very much i am dr gregory horton have a blessed day